Good evening, everybody. It is an honor to be here at my last, and perhaps the last, White House Correspondents' Day. <laughs> you all look great. The end of the Republic has never looked better. This week, Michelle Bachman actually, actually predicted that I would bring about the biblical end of days. Now that's a legacy. That's big. I mean, Lincoln, Washington, they didn't do that. For the first time, I am releasing my official birth video. Let's take a look. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> you will never see it coming. <laughs> you think I'm joking? and Richard Cordray to continue leading the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Uh, this guy's bothering me here. To give Americans the information they need to make sound financial choices and protect them from unscrupulous lenders and debt collectors. The signature characteristic of uh, our... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm going to start over. Uh, I'm going to start at I will contrast. Hey. Get out of here. That's the most persistent fly I've ever seen. Nice. Now, where were we? That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? I got it. I got the sucker. What do you think, Gibbs? That is very good. It's on. It's right there. It's right there. You want to film that? There it is. Premiums for all of Nathan's employees and their families. No other insurer would take Nathan as long as Thomas was on the policy. Get out of here. You've seen me grab one of those before. The coverage she had through her husband's employer oh, a year and a half ago that the subprime lending crisis could spill over. And that, let me try that again. Um, avoid from getting into this crisis in the first place. I warned. Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. There's a lot of flies in here, and the center is going to do something about gonna, these flies. We're going to do it one more time. in a manger. I was, I was actually born on Krypton and sent here by my father, Jor L, to save the planet Earth. But you don't have that much time to take away Americans' guns, declare martial law, and put hardworking Americans in FEMA camps. If you're going to do that, you better, better get, get started. You better get started. <laughs> 
you better, better get, get started. You better get started. <laughs> you think I'm joking? You better, better get, get started. You better get started. <laughs>
uh, until 2017, that was Barack Obama. And, and, the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. Another version says a short time. Same thing. And the beast that was, and it's not, even he is the eighth. And he's of the seventh, meaning the sixth, the number of the beast, that's Barack Obama, and goes into perdition. Um, this is something that I did. I said, wait a minute. Uh, something that the Lord showed me immediately. When Donald Trump started his speech, he went back as five um, presidents before Obama. Obama is the sixth. He mentioned, he addressed Obama. He addressed uh, Bush. He addressed Clinton. And he addressed Carter. The only reason he did not address Ronald Reagan is because he's dead. And he did not address Bush the father because he is in the, his deathbed as we speak. He went as far behind him as seven kings behind him. Carter, Reagan, Bush the father, Clinton, Bush the son, and the sixth, Obama, and he's the seventh. Now, I wanted to make sure of this. So what I did was... I went into every inauguration speech all the way back to Kennedy. Nobody ever mentioned five presidents, five kings. Nobody ever went as far back as the fifth president before him. In fact, um, as the sixth president before him, because he's the seventh. Barack Obama is the one exiting, and there were five that had fallen. No one ever went in every inaugurational speech. No one ever went as far back as six uh, presidents be, uh, before him. Only Donald Trump. That tells you that he is the man of this, this chapter, 17th of Revelation. He is uh, the year 17th president, the king, the king that is the seven kings. And the Lord put his stamp on his age on the day of, of the day on, of, of his inauguration, 70 years, seven, seven months, seven days old. I'm going to tell you, people, do not get discouraged. The Lord is about to show up and it's too late for this country. And I got to tell you, uh, these seven kings, the Lord put Donald Trump in this pack of seven kings. I have nothing but to think that they are all Illuminatis. They are all Illuminatis. Um, I might be wrong with, with Trump, God willing, but uh, I have no doubt then that Carter, uh, Reagan, Bush the father, Clinton, and definitely Bush the son, obviously Obama the beast, are from these uh, Freemason, uh, Skulls and Bones, Illuminatis, whatever. So let me tell you something. Uh, the Bible says that let your garments be white at all times. Uh, you need to remain holy and not slack because you will be left behind. Okay? You don't want to be caught unaware like a foolish virgin. Put some oil in your lamp, will you? The Lord is at the door. Until next time, God bless you all. Shalom. Predator drones. You will never see it coming. You think I'm joking? I am determined to make the most of every moment I have left. Yeah.